basically an Emirati TikToker addressed the alarming uh, threats he received following a football match. So Emirati TikToker Ibrahim Abbas recently opened up about receiving death threats and hateful messages from football fans after they mistakenly identified him as Bahraini. The incident unfolded following the FIFA World Cup qualifiers match between Bahrain and Indonesia, where tensions ran high. Ibrahim shared that over 2,000 gruesome messages requests flooded his inbox as angry fans accused him of being involved in the controversy surrounding the match. The fans believed that the referee had unfairly extended the game to favor Bahrain, leading to an outpour of rage. So confused. Um, mm. However, Ibrahim clarified that he had no prior knowledge of the match and expressed deep disappointment over the intense hatred directed at him. My confusion on the story is why did they think he was involved? They Okay, so there was like a name thing. So because of his name, they thought that he was Bahraini and he had something to do with, uh, like his name, um, someone on the team, the Bahraini team, they share the same name. So for some reason, they I thought that they, they were the same person. I spoke to him last oh, night about this actually. And he was like, the theory goes that people thought that he was associated with the football team in Bahrain and that's why he was receiving so many messages. But it could have been also something else. But that was like his main theory. Yeah. Never a troll, but if you're going to troll, troll the right person. Um, <laughs> I imagine. You know what I mean? He emphasized how unacceptable and heartbreaking it was to see <clears> such <throat> hostility between fellow Muslims. His post garnered widespread support and commenters offering words of sympathy and condemning the hate that he had unjustly received. So you were speaking to him about him last night. Is he okay? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, he's he's okay. Like, he's obviously used to this being on uh, social media for so long. Like, he's been doing so much, but he's receiving it on email. He's re- receiving it on TikTok, Instagram. Like, he's receiving it everywhere. So he's a little bit, like, in shock and... Um, But he is taking it well because he understands that there was some sort of confusion there. But he's never spoken about football online. So to get so many like hateful messages and stuff like that, like he was a little bit in shock. Yeah, what an interesting position to be in. Because there's one thing it's like, okay, so I was involved and uh, whatever this scenario might be. But to just to, to, to feel the onslaught of hate... Um, but it not be you. I guess there's a little bit of a safety net there yeah. because he knows it's not him. He knows it's not him, but at the same time, it's like, oof, that's a lot of hate. What needs to happen to control people's behaviors online? Like we always discuss, where, you know, whenever we have people on the show, we're like, you know, do you get hate? And then, you know, they say constantly. And I've never, I've never spoken to someone who's admitted to being a troll. Mm. I've spoken to people who admit, you know, riling up Facebook comments, <laughs> but, but never like directing hate at someone. Yeah, yeah. No, that took it to a whole other level. Like he said he received very alarming messages and like they, they're they actually a little bit like scary and stuff. Won't go too much into it, but like, yeah, they were a little bit weird, but um, I didn't even know how, how, like what to say. I didn't know what to tell him. I was like, stay safe, man. <laughs> Because <laughs> I don't know what to say because I don't like what are you, what do you do in this situation? Like who who do you talk to? Well, I would do exactly what he, what he did, which was post a story being like clarify post a video uh, clarifying be like, it's not me. Mm-hmm. And like, I don't know anything about this football that you talk. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and like, uh, like, he's not even behind you guys. Like that was so out of touch. I don't know. <laughs> exactly. So I hope. Uh, anyone who was trolling him got the message and if you know anyone who was trolling him and you got the message and you realize that you're wrong you know what would go a long way in apology like two or three nice apologies being like look so sorry I got the wrong person would go a long way I have no doubt so you know Ibrahim we're with you <laughs> um, 